Hey everybody, it's Savage Sprinkles. I'm back with more of the quarry. Let's get into it. Trouble in paradise. Stupid fool. What a blue middle school? Why should I even care? I think I can piss anybody to stupid. Stupid. This review says that the quarry is often best when you're not actively playing it. So just let everything fail. <laughs> if you think about it, these, these uh, games are specifically meant for the worst things not to happen if you succeed in preventing them. Yeah. So I see what they're saying. I mean, I've been trying to make the choices that I think a dumb teenager in a horror movie would make, for the most part. I saw it. I saw the something. The tower. Jump free of your troubles, fight or flight. That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, no, no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just... playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Kiss him! Do the smooch. And now you guys are gonna die. I'm really sorry. You've broken the cardinal rule of being a teenager horror movie. <laughs> He's falling in love, huh? Mm -hmm. 
ছিল Do you see anything? It sounds spooky. Is she coming for a cuddle? Here she comes. Big jump. You could do it. What? Go get him. You tease. Yes, yeah, something sounds like it's growling at Too growly. Come on, Pika. You better lay down. I don't got time to mess with you. It's a bear. It's too fast. Time to play dead, right? You better show me how you do it. Oh my god! It's the thing that ate my boyfriend before that one time. Oh no! Help him! Help him! You're not gonna do something? Do something! Looks like werewolf to me. Help him! Oh my god! This has been a failure before. No, don't kill me. I don't want to die. Grab him! Grab him! No! We're leaving him? Girl, that's your boyfriend. You gonna leave him? Run or hide? We're gonna run. We're fast, we're nimble. Our blood is pumping with adrenaline. Am I supposed to be smashing X? Okay, sorry. Okay, remember how you fell earlier? <laughs> Climb the tree? That seems like a bad idea, but sure. I mean, this thing seems like it's faster than me. It can probably <laughs> climb better than me. But maybe I can kick it if it tries to get me. Uh oh, honey. Ooh, I'm doing my best. <gasps> if you scooch too far, it'll. Our branch is gonna break, dude. No, we're gonna die. Oh, God. That was a bad idea. That was a dumb idea. That was the worst idea I've ever had. My boyfriend died, I think. My poor boyfriend. He was a wolf thing. Oh, he's crying and pouting over there. Oh, my God. No, Jakey. Oh, Till you quite 
Technique needs work. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, you know. Of course. Oh, he's crying. Something down there for when I'm trying to make all the people caught me. Yeah, yeah, I just. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this. us. it's just supposed to be some summer fun. No, no. I know. Just you just love having an eye. Jacob. I mean, you. Do, I can't believe you. You fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Friends, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Right enough, sir. This is not how the ring was supposed to go. Huh? No, what? Nothing. No. Nothing, never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Uh, come on. Or, you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, let's go skinny dipping. We agree. Sounds like fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite. So now we have to run from a werewolf naked. This is such a bad idea. Okay. There's a dead person in the water. This camp is uh, a little shady, a little sus. The star. Oh, it's the star, stars. In the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear, or despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Dates. Binoculars. I don't see anything. No towels, huh? There's no towels. None? Exactly zero.
Oh well, I guess that means no skinny dipping for us. Ooh, a piece of evidence. Ooh, a piece of candy. A recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. There we go. It's probably whose backpacks we found. I wonder if it was near here. Mm, he's not going to put two and two together. That's cool. Jacket and jacket. Oh. oh, well, jacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. A faded camp photograph from the 1970s. According to the names printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. No, it's Hackett. T. Hackett. Tom, Ted. I don't know. He has a brother, cousin? something no swimming without supervision a handmade war sign warning people off swimming near the boathouse how dangerous can a lake be duh we'll see about that you're an adult supervise yourself you know what I mean whoa her clothes okay well I guess we could just like drip dry or you could shake it up doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Hurricane Jake? Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> Sweet. I love you. <laughs> 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 Dick move. I don't want this to end. <laughs> I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little clean. Oh, you know what I mean. What is this? Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where are you going? Come on! Huh? Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream! I can't hear you! Okay, look, just... Hold on, I'm gonna go check it out. What? 
We're splitting up the You're party! Right. Again! And I'm naked. We're both naked. Some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cue preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. We gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Everybody's leaving everybody Help! behind. Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? I... I... Go after Nick! Go! Okay, okay. big man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're brave. You're strong. You're a warrior. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. You know, he didn't even participate in the shooting competition. Just saying. And you aced it, so maybe you should have gone. But hey. Okay. Okay. All right. Did we even learn where Nick was? We're just winging it. Okay, this time let's follow the path because we messed up too bad last time. I did fall once, though. Nick, my dude! I got you, buddy. I got you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Hey! It's like a hillbilly gunter. That's Nick's body. I'm scared. Ah! Yeah, you bit him. Good job. Spread that werewolf stuff. No. Run, Nick, run. He blasted his finger off. I 
On purpose. On purpose he did. I thought these guys were hunting Holy us, but shit. maybe they're hunting the werewolves. But again, we gotta go. Okay. Come on, gotta go. Come on, let's get back to the fire. We need the band-aids. Who's got the band-aids? <laughs> this guy's got werewolf juice on him. We gotta hurry. <laughs> How do you stop someone from turning into a werewolf? Do you think it is a werewolf or a I have no idea. But I think so, maybe. <laughs> Now we got Naked Boy running into the wilderness. Let's go. He did. His ex-girlfriend slash girlfriend slash love interest. He left her to go running naked into the woods. We lament your decision as well. We think it was the dumbest thing you ever did. The boars. I hear boars. Now something's growling at us. What's oh, eating the boar? That sounds bad. Time to hide. Lay down and be naked and dead. The moon is full right now, I will say that. No, we're not calling out. No, we're not calling out. It sounded like something just ate something. Hell no. no. Oh! We're caught in a trap! Tie your leg. You can do it, big boy. Shit. Now you're gonna fall and hurt yourself. You're so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, pal. Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? I think he's gonna cut me down. If he cuts me, then he's definitely a bad guy, but if he cuts my leg thing, we might be okay. Oof. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna trust him, which goes against all my previous thoughts on this guy. Helps if you close your eyes. He's covered in blood, and his old man was covered in blood. I thought these guys were hunting us like some kind of murderers, but I think they're hunting the monster in the woods. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't really know. Or there I have two enemies. That's possible. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? It's the stars. Stars. Stars in the night. Sky. Eclipse of light. Dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight. 
That's the question we all ask ourselves, but often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? No? Okay. If that's what you want. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Okay, so that was the end of a chapter, but it wasn't a very long chapter, so I'm gonna keep going. It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and don't there, was panic. A, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Can you draw what it's have to? Yummy. Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Gosh, did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There's something else. Some kind of animal. What oh, no. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. Probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, be close. See, it's wrong and tough, man. Plus, I was really crushing. There's no way. I, I probably don't get this right now. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Fuck that. We should amputate. No, we're not gonna amputate his leg in the we woods. Cut it off before the infection spreads. No heckin' what? way, dude. I'm, I mean, my my response is frustrated immediately. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too. <laughs> While we're at it. It's probably our naked friend, Jacob. Don't shoot him. It's probably Jacob. Use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? That's what I'm saying. Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brief. <laughs> She's uh, so judgmental, oh uh, my god. <laughs> I'll just sound pretty good right about now, yeah. Let's 
still don't see anything. No, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <gasps> but there's clothes in the ranger thing. Fuck, of course they are. Wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so, like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this, like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? Hunters, I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, to zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy, with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. <laughs> I thought the guy wasn't booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Oh, uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Off. Gotta go get him. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get. Guys, stop. No, hey. Don't fucking stop. We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what, risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? We can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. We out of a wheelbarrow. Hey, there's our wheelbarrow. We could carry an injured dude on it. Yes, the plan is coming together. <laughs> For you. We've got two thumbs, and it's suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. And it is here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Well, at least she's still alive. She is alive and seems unharmed for all of that stupidity. Okay, full disclosure, I suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't. But nice even if model. I did, I can't. Because then I look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explorer bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Okay, so the game wants me to go a certain place, but I'm gonna walk around to see if I can find some more cards or clues or evidence. Okay. 
Okay, so that was a visual for me to see if we're coming back here. Cool. I definitely will be doing that. How does she have a fully charged phone? No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too all natural for me, TBH. You know, I never thought about where the waste goes. But probably right into the lake. Which we've got now. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. But to be fair, I mean, if it's a big lake, if there's some pee or poop in it, it's probably not directly touching you <laughs> at any point in time. You know what I'm saying? It's a big lake. It's probably fine. Don't just swim right under the outhouse, though. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything is always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child. It's all sad, because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all bluff about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative. By I mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. We're gonna take the literal and metaphorical high road. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, then you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. That byline is cracking me up every time. It's getting spooky here, so take off all your clothes. Oh wait, we already did that. This is where we're headed. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your top. There's also a zip line, which I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In the truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. 
It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. There's nothing up here, it's just a drop. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Turn around. Abort, abort. I don't want to go forward. I want to go backwards. There we go, there we go. We did it, we did it, guys. These keys belong to the North Kill Police Department. What are they doing all the way out here on the island in the treehouse at Hackett's Quarry? It's a good question. Well, I thought I could squeeze through here, but I cannot. Alright, so let's go in, I guess. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And now look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Do you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? Let me think about this. We've already opened one trapdoor and nothing bad happened to us, so what would be the harm in opening another trapdoor? Clearly nothing bad will happen to us, right? But, on the other hand, I am trying to find clues. So, do I have to pick? I don't know. Trapdoor, she's making it sound very scary. Um, let's do the trapdoor, because we have a death wish. is calling and there's no time for an encore. <gasps> it's a heckin' werewolf, dude! Oh my god! Oh no, I think she's gonna die. I think she's really gonna die. <laughs> Fight it! Do something! Damn, girl, we really died. I didn't think we were really gonna die if we did the thing that said, oh, we're gonna die. Is that the hot chick? The hot chick's dead. Just her neck was like blah, 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 blah. Emma died do you want to try and save her you have three lives remaining <laughs> yes we will okay so let's be less of an idiot got it take it all in folks that's the summer camp experience right there and oh, look it's what if we did the trap door again that'd be so funny kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back but I don't recognize this. You think we should just start calling her Daphne? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Queen of bad decisions is what we should call her. 
do we open? The spooky trap door and die. A horrible, painful death. Oh, oh. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. A taser. We found a taser. Fun. Now it's time to open. Okay, so you also I think there's something up there. And she put on pants too. Not gonna make me jump. I can promise you that much. Now we're gonna open this trap door because now we have a taser <sighs> and pants. And pants. World. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an eye. Use the taser. Tase it. Oh my god. Taser face. Yeah, hell yeah. Take a photo. Let's take a photo. Boop. Nice. Now run. Seriously run. Run, 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 run. Jeez. A blurry close-up photo of Emma being attacked at the treehouse. Can I look? Can I look at it? I want to see what it looks like. Run, girl, run! Woo! We're ziplining, baby! I hope this is live streaming for all her fans! Because this would be wild, dude! A million views. Ugh, it is like a person. Spray it, you know, just use everything you got. Now run. Hell yeah, girl, keep it going. You're so good. I believe in you. We're going back to the treehouse? That's a dumb idea. Like, it was able to find its way in there, obviously, right? Let's block the door. Ah, oh, wow. Good, good job. Okay, go, go, go. More bear spray. Run, girl, run, run, run. Ooh. Throw it, throw it, yeah. Oh my god, go, you animal, go faster, oh my god. <laughs> ah! It's right on my tail. Ooh, I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. That's not enough. Put everything on there. Whoa, oh my god. I don't like its face. It's got a scary face. Hey, we lived. I didn't know we had bear spray. I got it. He's okay. In pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. I'll get you some food inside, okay? He's just really hungry. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. We'll be able to find you a horse, but oh. some granola. Oh. Yeah, but they have the shotgun. <laughs> Let's see, what's strength mean? Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, with the other it could rip it away. And that's literally a guy fighting with a wolf. <laughs> hmm. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Nope. We'll 
come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. We got a couple different forces working against us here. I don't know what to do about that. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. That's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is for this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for it? Like police, ambulance? Huh. I mean, an ambulance would be a good idea to help our friend. Maybe. But the police would have guns. Guns might be useful. They also investigate crimes. But they might investigate us for being here when we're not supposed to and drinking and Yeah, it's true. Let's call the cops. Uh cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So yes, they'll say, nine one one, what's your emergency? And I'll say, Help, help, my friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. Okay, maybe not that story. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> Oh, of course the phone goes dead right now. Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Can you try the hang up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, ma'am. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. What? Where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Nah, I don't think so. I will put it back when we're good and safe, and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? <laughs> Maybe it was the bears. Or the hunters. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio house before we freeze. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go. Oh, God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. I think that's fair. You don't need two guns if you're both going together. Someone has to defend the homestead. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, like 20 seconds. five seconds ago, yeah. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Yeah, we'll give it to her. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, you still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking in cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupted something? Yes. Now leave. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Back to Emma. Emma the super survivor who technically died but is still alive! Yay, Emma! You're doing good, Emma. Are we thinking we're going to use that zipline? The one that goes all the way across the lake? Are you cracked? I think our best bet's to still real slowly. Oh, keep going slow. Let's go. We're going slow and steady for now. <gasps> Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, god! Oh, hell! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Emma, no! Emma! 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 Oh god! <sighs> Emma, Jesus. My taser doesn't work anymore because I got it wet. Oh, I'm so mad. That's okay. Girl, just go. And we hope that our boyfriend person thing doesn't go to the island because he's going to get wrecked by that monster out there. Oh my god. We're back with the lady, huh? Oh, good. I don't know what they are. Their relationship status is all over the place. A time again, is it? What? Person thing. Strength. Or whatever. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into it. 
tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces that work within the soul, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? I'm having fun not being able to predict the nonsense, so we're gonna not. No? Okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. She just pfft at me. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube as Savage Sprinkles. Have a great night, everybody. Bye!